This video demonstrates how to host a website on Amazon S3. With Amazon S3's enhanced website support, you can set the index document to the bucket root or any subfolder in your bucket and provide a custom error message. To perform this task, you will first create a bucket, second, enable the bucket to be a website, and third, set the bucket policy so the content is publicly readable. All of these steps are completed in the AWS Management Console. In the console, click the Amazon S3 tab. Click Create Bucket. Give the bucket a unique name. Click Create. Next, open the Bucket Properties pane. When the pane loads, click the Website tab. Select the enabled checkbox and add an index document name. You can also add a custom error document here. Click Save. Notice the URL for your website is displayed in the Website Configuration tab as the endpoint. You still need to add a bucket policy to make your bucket content publicly available. In the Properties pane, click the Permissions tab. Click Add Bucket Policy. You can copy the bucket policy text from the Amazon S3 documentation and paste it in the Bucket Policy Editor. Update the policy by providing your bucket name instead of the example bucket name and click Save. Your bucket is now ready to host your website. To test the website, you need to upload the index document. Click Upload. Click Add Files. Select the file you named earlier as the index document. Click Start Upload. Remember, the Properties pane contains the URL for your website, also called the Endpoint. Click the URL to view your website. That's it! The AWS documentation has more information about Amazon S3 and website configuration.